So here is day 31 through 40, and I've switched it up a little bit. I'm still trying to use some found papers, and I believe I just found those in my art room again on the floor. Kids leave things all over the place, and I pick them up and stuff them in my pocket. Um, but this one really goes back to some practice when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the 100-day project. This is some wet strength tissue paper that I had stained and then um, cut apart as a collage and worked back into with some other colors. The only problem when I did this example, when I was looking at what I was going to do for my project, was it took a long time to do. And part of my project was I wanted to get quicker at decision making and working. And I think what I learned most about myself is that I am just slow. So I went back to something I really love, which again is that wet strength tissue paper. It's stained and um, just a little bit of pen work, but I just love the effects of the stained paper. So something that I really enjoyed that day. And as I'm going along, I'm getting much more now into the botanicals rather than just the leaf shapes but really enjoying some of the flowers that are starting to just bloom everywhere. So um, this one I felt like, oh, I just loved. I loved, I worked with some um, book page. You might be able to see a little bit of text in here and then using some of the acrylic pens over it. And here's some more of my stained paper with um, some stencil work and here's some more of that stained paper as well so I really enjoyed working with that a little bit um here I went back to some more of the collage some more forsythia I don't think this is as successful as some of my last I think I don't like the color combination as much um I was given a beautiful bouquet of flowers um by my aunt and so these were some of the I don't even know what they're called but these little almost like berry shapes that were in it and I just love these um, and I even my mother gave me this paper she sent it to me when she realized how much collage I was doing in this project so she sent me some paper from Venice that I have been using and you'll see quite a bit um, she also sent me a lovely little note, so I cut up, my mom has beautiful handwriting, so I cut that up and I glued that down um, as some of the flowers and some of the paper. So this is a little homage to my mother. Um, and then I was working, again, more with some positive and negative. This was some paper that I had printed. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the negative here, and this is um, the paper. So this was... You can kind of see some of the paper that was underneath. Um, these are okay. I'm not in love with them. I think, again, it's just a little too obvious it was a stencil um, that had been used in jelly printing. I love this one. I love the texture. Um, some more of my mother's paper. This came, again, in the bouquet from my aunt. And I really, I like that some of the words are still here, living, working. So that was kind of neat, a, a little serendipitous things that happen sometimes. Um, and then here, my husband and I went on vacation and this kind of started a different, a different way of working because I had to bring some limited supplies with me and I believe I did this in the airport on our way to um, our vacation, which was on a cruise in the Caribbean. And so some of these are just a little bit more organic a little bit more free-flowing, um, a lot of line, a lot of movement, and you'll see, I think, a lot of that inspiration from our trip and the water. So, more to come.